Workers may soon need to find another way to get to work. A railroad strike may happen as early as Friday. Amtrak already preemptively canceling some trips involving Chicago. WDN Sean Lewis live at Union Station with details. Sean. Yeah, the United States has not seen a national rail strike in more than 30 years. That could change as soon as this Friday. Because of that here at Union Station, as you mentioned, Metra is taking steps and so is Amtrak. Tonight, it's freight weighing on the minds of rail passengers across the country, especially Chicago. This is a, a major hub for, uh, for the travel, so, I mean, it, I, I, it could cripple it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I wouldn't want to see them strike. As soon as Friday, 60,000 rail workers could go on strike after contract negotiations stalled between unions and some of the largest freight rail companies in the country. Amtrak uses those rail lines for most of their routes and so far has canceled four of their longest routes, three of which impact Chicago, including the Southwest Chief to Los Angeles, the Empire Builder to Seattle, the California Zephyr, which runs to just outside of San Francisco, and the Texas Eagle between Los Angeles and San Antonio. This isn't Amtrak's fault. No. It's two of 13 labor unions that are uh, uh, not agreeing, and they have their reasons. I sure hope they can resolve this. Dwight Worker and Susan Burke have traveled more than 7,000 miles in a cross country train trip. My hope is that the two unions who are holding out will make some compromises. They made a mistake by letting go a bunch of well trained people a little while ago to make more money. And now they've been trying to run short staff and this is what happens. It just really messes up the uh you know, functioning of our economy. Professor Joe Schwederman points out it's not just the passenger rail service being impacted by freight worker strike. It will have a ripple effect on transporting consumer and energy products as well. Along, and that's uh, in some cases the worst case scenario because people can't plan around that uncertainty. It's uncertainty for Metra as well, announcing today that its Union Pacific and BNSF routes to the north, northwest, and west suburbs would be suspended in the event of a strike. While its electric lines, which it owns and operates, would not be impacted, it is still working with other rail lines this week on maintaining service, leaving passengers searching for alternatives. What's your advice to people who may not and be freaking out about not being able to get to where they're supposed to go? Just enjoy the moment, enjoy your trip, and uh, figure things out as you go. I'm a Robert Parker fan, and uh, his motto was, well, I'll go here and we'll see what happens. The White House is hoping to uh, avert this strike, and if it doesn't, it is also making plans to get goods from one coast to the other and throughout the country via other ways than rail, including through the air, on the roadways, and in the waterways. We'll see what happens. That's the latest here live at Union Station tonight. Sean Lewis, WGN News.